are you guys doing? Um, welcome to another episode of Learning English with you. Um, today we will be focusing on one of the techniques to improve your spoken English. Now, I come I come across a lot of learners who tell who face the problem of translation, as in that they first think in their mother tongue, translate it into English. And the whole thought process becomes like a bit tedious. So they're not really able to answer fast or speak fast because, you know, it takes time to um, decide the answer in your mother tongue, then try to find the words in English and then uh, respond, right? And by the time you do all of this, you would have lost a lot of confidence. So um, how to overcome this? One technique, one of the techniques I will share today, I call it the chain of creating a chain of thought. Now, it is very important. See, in the beginning, when you're learning your language, it's fine to, and it's obvious that you will be translating your mother tongue um, into English. But as in when you start proceeding, this method hinders your progress, right? It slows down your progress. So how to overcome that? Start creating a chain of thoughts in your mind. For example, you um, okay, you are just sitting in a place. You're you're sitting in your room, and now you start thinking. Okay, I'm very very bored. Now start developing on this one line. Okay, start developing and create a complete chain. I am very bored. I really wish I could go out and meet my friends. But maybe my friends are studying or working or busy. So what can I do? What can I do? How can I spend my time alone? Which will be, which will, um, you know, be fun. Um, maybe I could go out and play in the fields. Maybe I could just try to plant some trees. Maybe I could look at the wonderful, beautiful skies. Maybe I could go on a long drive. But I'm feeling lazy. Really, really lazy. I wish that someone could just, you know, cook a delicious meal for me. So, this was just an example which I came up with on spot. <laughs> on spot so i even i don't know what i have spoken i will try to see after afterwards but start creating a chain of thoughts you know it's okay if it doesn't make sense initially you can say some fun unrealistic things just like storytelling um yeah just just go for it do it um this process will really help you to start thinking in english slowly right I'm not saying this is the only technique, but this is one of the good, easy techniques for you to start thinking in English, right? Um, yes, um, let me know if uh, this technique works out for you. Try it a couple of times, two or three times. I know that you cannot stick to one technique all your life, right? You will do it for four or five days, get bored. It's okay. Do it for four or five days. I will, by then, I would have come up with a new technique for you to uh, work on. So, um, and, and I always say this, that have a lot of different techniques so that you don't get bored. Monotony will kill you. <laughs> and you will find it very taxing when you just keep it like a homework, you know. Every day read a book. It's not for everybody. Some people enjoy it, but others find it very stressful to do that. So... Change your activities. This is for um, those sort of people who do not like dedicating um, their time to just one activity and cannot commit to it. Okay, try this and let me know if it works. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any um, uh, feedbacks as to... Um... Okay, just feedbacks. I was going to say something I forgot but uh, yes that's it and uh, 
I promise that my videos won't be more than five minutes, so I will stop here. Have a very nice day and see you in the next episode.